Hey friends, welcome back. Today I've got the long awaited for coffee talk. I haven't done one of these in a hot minute or five and it was time. If you're new around here, I do hope that you enjoy this video. Consider hitting the red subscribe button down below to be a part of the family. I would love to have you. As I mentioned, it is a coffee talk video. I haven't done one of these in so long and many of you have been asking, are they coming back? Where have they gone? Am I still doing them? My voice is a little froggy because I've got a summer cold going on, so excuse that, but I've got my coffee. Um, this mug was actually from the kids for my birthday. It says, Chaos Coordinator Fueled by Caffeine. So here are my Coffee Talk videos. This is just like life updates, kind of like a favorites video too, where I talk about some of the products and things that I've been trying, shows I've been watching, books I've been reading, and I'm just gonna jump right in. My voice right now sounds so much deeper than I'm used to. <clears throat> I don't know if y'all can notice it, but it's throwing me off. So I usually start with just a general life update. It's summer break, and we are being very lazy on summer break. We are relaxing, we are doing a lot of traveling, so I guess not so much lazy, but we're sleeping in, and I'm staying up late, and just enjoying the fact that we don't have a real schedule. Sooner or later, I'm going to miss having a schedule, so we'll get back on track, but for right now, we're just embracing it. Of course, my battery is going to die. All right, my battery died, so I had to go charge that, and I put on a lip color, which I'm gonna talk to you about in a few minutes. But back to the life update, now that my coffee's cold. Uh, Health-wise, I'm doing all right. My medications are working great. For those of you who don't know, um, I've kind of had a lot of health issues going on since November when I was hospitalized for two nights due to autoimmune issues. I have a rare autoimmune disorder called Bichette's disease, and then I was diagnosed with a second autoimmune disorder called ankylosing spondylitis, which is arthritis of the spine. So that explains my undiagnosed back pain for the past 10 plus years. I'm on medication and I've been feeling pretty good. I haven't been too run down. I do have a summer cold right now, which could just be because my immune system is not the best, but I typically get a summer cold every year. Anyway, I did have shingles a few weeks back. I get shingles like five to six times a year. If you were watching my vlogs, it wasn't even a few weeks back. It was like a week or two. I still have a little bit uh, of pinkness left in my eye like at the corner because it was actually going into my eyeball. That's fun. So that's my health update. I'm doing good. Thank you for all of you who have asked. We are doing a lot of traveling coming up, especially the kids and I going to visit family in Michigan as often as we can over the summer. Uh, Will has a week vacation in July as well, so he'll be able to go with us, which is great. Um, the kids go back to school mid-August, so we're trying to get as much traveling in as we can before they go back to school. Alice will be starting kindergarten. Jackson will be going into first grade, so very exciting and also kind of sad, but I will have two babies in full day school. I don't know what I'll be able to do with myself. Um, I will probably get a whole lot more filming done because I will have time. And I also plan to do shipped more often, um, delivering the groceries, which I started back around the beginning of the year. I haven't done it as frequently as I had hoped just because of um, like our schedules and I can only do it when Will's home. And then when Will's home, I want to spend time with him because he's been working so much. But exciting news, I'm going to be shifting to pay for a vacation for Will and I in October. We are planning to go to Savannah, Georgia for about five days. So drop me comments down below if you've been to Savannah. I know a lot of friends that have gone and some big YouTubers that have gone and I've watched their vlogs and it looks beautiful and we are so excited. But I'm gonna use shipped money to pay for the vacation. So once the kids are in school, I will be shifting more frequently. So let's get into some of my favorites. Um, I'm gonna start with my favorite YouTube channels that I've been watching and binging recently when I have the time. The first one is Catherine Michelle, and she has a channel of like health and nutrition, but mainly focused on keto. So I've really been enjoying her vlogs and her what she eats in a day. It helps to keep me on track and gives me a lot of ideas in the realm of keto. Second one, I've actually watched her for a long time, well over a year, but uh, recently I've been enjoying is Becca Bristow because she is recently pregnant and so she's sharing some of her pregnancy journey and she also has a podcast that she does with her husband so that's fun to listen to when I'm on road trips, I try to catch up. And number three, The Wads. She is hilarious. She does a lot of grocery hauls and just like mommy lifestyle type stuff, but her personality 
just cracks me up and when I watch her I can't help but smile so she will put a smile on your face I guarantee it I have actually been reading a lot lately um, not so much like actual reading but audiobooks with the amount of traveling we've been doing I've had time to do audiobooks in the car because the kids when they're in the backseat they have headphones and they can watch cartoons on our overhead like DVD and so I get to listen to audiobooks which has been great some of the actual books that I've read in recent weeks slash months because I haven't done one of these videos I read a lot of Colleen Hoover if you've not read her she does a lot of young adult novels um, kind of like the young adult romance type stuff like that I read hopeless by her which was really good and I also read the companion to that called losing hope so hopeless is from Sky's point of view and then losing hope is from Dean's point of view so you've got the female and the male point of view of the same story so if you don't like to read the repetition of the same story unfold which I usually don't but I did enjoy seeing both points of view of the story and it's kind of like a romance like Dean's the bad boy and Sky is the like girl who's trying to find herself and drama unfolds and they're good I enjoyed them Colleen Hoover I've never been disappointed by her in fact when we went to Michigan most recently the audiobook I listened to on the way there was called Without Merit and that's also by Colleen Hoover and that one was really great that is about a family that's just very dysfunctional when I read the the like synopsis of the book is that the right word synopsis I don't know when I read what the book was about I was like Meh. it didn't really sound like a typical Colleen Hoover book but I'm glad I listened to it on the way there because it was really good it's about a dysfunctional family they live in an old church that had been like revamped into a home the mother but ex-wife lives in the basement the dad lives in the main part of the church now with his new wife and it lays out the dysfunction but also brings in again a teen romance into it which for some reason yes I'm in my mid-30s but these books always get me and they remind me of what it's like to be a teenager and in high school or early college years and I just really enjoy them I've recently gotten into like psychological thriller and suspense books I don't like reading them um, like in bed at night which is typically when I read because they kind of give me anxiety and I'm kind of a baby but I've been listening to them in audiobook form and the other book I recently listened to on our travels is The Good Daughter by Karen Slaughter and that was a really good suspense like thriller it's about two sisters who go through a really traumatic event when they were teenagers and it, sh it talks about that but then flashes forward like 28 years I think and how the story kind of like comes full circle again um, it's kind of like a murder mystery and it's got some crime and drama and love and stuff like that in it but uh, there is apparently another book by her that features the same set of main characters that I have on my library wish list that I will probably get as well another one that I read that I was like eh was truly madly guilty by Leanne Moriarty which is the same author who wrote the Husband's Secret and Big Little Lies, which are very popular. Um, this book I really didn't want to finish, but they had you at a cliffhanger for so much of the book that I really wanted to know what had happened um, because they talk about this event on the day of the barbecue for like too long. And I really wanted to know what had happened. And then once I found out what happened, I had to finish. So it wasn't necessarily like at the top of my list. I'd give it probably two and a half to three stars. I was annoyed that it kept me reading even though I really didn't want to. And I am currently in the midst. I'm about 75% of the way through The Wife Between Us by Greer Hendricks. And I'm listening to that on audiobook. It's again another like one of the like summer thriller, psychological thriller type reads that was recommended. I don't remember. I think like when I was looking through Amazon or something and I ran across it and downloaded it from my library app. But I've been listening to that while I run errands or clean or when I'm just around the house and have nothing better to do. It features the sto two different stories running simultaneously for the first part of the book. And at first you think it's about like a jealous ex-wife and her new replacement but then it starts to like get into the love triangle and the things that we cover up for love and like the dangers of what looks to be a perfect marriage and so I'm again I have a little bit left to go on it but it's really good so far so worth checking out drop me a comment let me know what you've been reading I would love some recommendations because I've actually been making time to read more lately and again if I can't actually physically read the book I've been listening on audiobook TV and movies 
Um, not so many movies lately, but we have been watching some TV. Both myself, like solo, I have shows that I watch after Will goes to bed at night. And then there's a few shows that we watch together. I have been watching Riverdale. I actually just caught up last night with what's on Netflix. So I've watched all of the first two seasons. Something about that show, I love like the teen drama stuff, stuff that's on the CW and all of that. So Riverdale really sucked me in right from the get-go. I binge watched all of season one and then again, just finished season two. And I just love the characters. I love the, the drama in it. I love Jughead. I don't know, the, the show is just good. If you're not familiar with it, it's based off of the Archie comics, but it's like dark and twisted. So the character names are the same as what were in the Archie comics, but the storyline I don't think is. I don't know because I never read the Archie comics. I've also been loving The Handmaid's Tale. It started out very slow for me and I kind of watched most of the first season all in like one get go. And then I took a break because I wasn't like fully into it. And then I finished season one um, and I just recently got back into and binged all of what's available on season two on Hulu. I need more because I need to know what happens. And it, it's typically not a show that would be up my alley. I have not read the book. My friend Ashley's reading the book, but the show itself has again gained my interest and I'm left at a cliffhanger until next week's episode or whenever they upload it and I need to know what happens next. For shows that Will and I are watching together, we recently got into Suits on Amazon Prime. We had never heard of it before until recently, and they're, I think, going into their seventh or eighth season. Fun fact that I had no idea of, Meghan Markle, who just married the prince, was one of the main actresses on the show, and I didn't know that until well after we had already started it. It's about a fraudulent lawyer who went to Harvard and got hired at one of the most prestig prestigious law firms in New York City. Good TV, it's something that we both enjoy, so that's one that we watch together in the evenings, along with The Ranch, which is on Netflix. And we didn't, or I didn't want to like The Ranch because I'm not a huge fan of Ashton Kutcher, but Sam Elliott is hilarious in this show. A lot of people say that the laugh track on it is very distracting. It doesn't bother us. Like one of Will's good friends and Will's dad, we recommended the show to and they couldn't even get into it because the laugh track was just too much for them. It's kind of like a dark humor comedy, like, I don't know, it's a 30 minute sitcom. So it's good on the nights where we don't have a whole lot of time to watch TV, but we want to watch something as we crawl into bed at night. And I legit laugh out loud every single episode. It's been good. So season five just loaded to Netflix and we're currently making our way through that. The only movie we've watched recently is Game Night, which has Rachel McAdams and Jason Bateman in it. And it's the one where they think they're playing like one of the like dinner party, like mur murder mystery type things. And it turns out that it's actually like a heist going on so it was it was comical it was entertaining enough nothing that i would like watch again by any means but that's the only movie we've watched recently so i figured i would mention it all right now getting into some of my favorite foods and products that i've tried this month i've mentioned some of these in some of my day in the life or what i eat in a day videos but i'm going to mention them again in case you have not seen them so the first items are the Chalk Zero syrups. These are so good, they're sugar-free, they're keto. They sent me a chocolate syrup and a maple syrup. So anything that you would put chocolate syrup on or make, like you can mix this in with almond milk to make a keto-friendly chocolate milk. Um, I have drizzled it on top of my keto French toast as well as the maple syrup, of course. If you want the recipe for my keto French toast, I'll link that up top. I also really enjoy their almond bark, which I keep in the freezer because I like my chocolate cold. But Chalk Zero is great if you need sugar-free or if you are on the ketogenic diet, which I am. The next one I also featured in one or two of my eating vlogs, but it's Smart Cakes. These are magical. They are so good and fluffy and moist and i'm sorry if you hate that word because it's uncanny the amount of people that hate that word but there's no other way to explain them they are so good each um so you can buy them in a box and each box has like two packages in them which would be four muffins and each muffin is 38 calories zero carbs zero sugar five grams of fiber and four grams of protein and they are just delicious so these help my sweet tooth when I'm on keto. I try to eat keto about 90% of the time. So I'm not like perfect, but 
These help my sweet tooth when I am focusing on keto. Um, in fact, the coconut one I did drizzled with the chocolate honest syrup and it tasted way too decadent to even be considered somewhat healthy. I did like a whipped cream and strawberries with the tangerine flavor, which tastes more like an orange creamsicle cake. And that was delicious. That was featured in a recent What I Eat in a Day. So if you are interested in those, check them out. I do have a link down below. Um, and you can save, I think, 10% off your order with my discount code. They also have hamburger buns, which I was thrilled about because we eat a lot of hamburgers when I'm eating keto. And it's nice to be able to have my hamburger on a bun for a change. And the last food or drink item I'm going to mention, I've been drinking a lot of tea. I always drink a lot of tea, but recently black maraschino cherry tea from Steep Tea. This is really good iced or hot. It is black tea, so it has a little bit of caffeine in it. Well, more than a little bit. It has more caffeine than green tea does. This is a good versatile one, but I've really enjoyed the flavor for summer. And I've got just a few favorite products. Um, I don't try a whole lot of products. I don't spend a lot of money on new things. I do have a few beauty products that I would like to share with you. The first of which is Maybelline Brow Drama and the wand looks like that. My brows are one, crazy thin and two, just a mess. I did not get blessed with good eyebrows. My husband, on the other hand, has beautiful eyebrows. I hate him for that. He's sitting right over here trying to be just quiet. be quiet. He has beautiful eyebrows. I hope our children get his eyebrows because mine are a hot mess. But my sister introduced me to this product. I got it from like Walmart or something. It's drugstore product, Maybelline, obviously. But it helps to tame the craziness. It gives a little bit of color without like being overly dramatic. And it kind of like keeps them in place. So it tames them, it fills them. It's foolproof. I'm not a makeup guru by any means. A quick swipe of this on my brows makes them look so much more put together than if I were to just leave them naked. Another product that my sister introduced me to is ColourPop's Lippy Sticks, which I literally just got in the mail today. So that's why I have lip product on now, where I didn't at the very intro of this video. What I didn't realize is the colors I got are very similar. So I got Cami, which is kind of like a mauve caramel color, and Lumiere, which is more of a purplish mauve color. I am currently wearing Cami right now on my lips. And my sister introduced me to these when I was up visiting last time. They are fairly inexpensive at $5.50 each. And I like the matte ones, um, both of these colors. One's matte and one's matte X. I don't know what the difference is, to tell you the truth. But they stay, like I can eat and drink and don't have to reapply too often. They stay pretty well. Fun fact, the Lumiere is, um, if you're into YouTube beauty gurus, Kathleen Lights, this is the one that she developed with ColourPop and it's a really beautiful color. Drop me a comment if you've tried the lippy sticks and if so, which colors are your favorites? I had a really hard time narrowing down. I didn't want to spend too much, so I just bought two. And the last item, is actually a set of items. Um, cleaning products from Grove Collaborative. You, If you've been around a while, you know that I do Grove Collaborative unboxings and some of you have shopped through my referral link, so thank you for that. But I've been really enjoying the Mrs. Meyers lavender scent of products particularly the room spray. So I keep it in the kitchen along with my dish soap and the multi-purpose cleaner by Mrs. Meyers and I can easily grab it and spritz. Ah. And this is lavender, so it's nice and calming and smells good. And Will hates the smell of anything, so he's probably going to glare at me any moment. Nope, he did not glare at me. Okay, and then their laundry. Lavender obviously is a great scent for laundry. Oh, now he's glaring at me. He did that on purpose. The Mrs. Meyers laundry detergent and fabric softener in the lavender scent. These make our laundry smell so good and also so soft. Um, I love them on the towels too. I also have the basil scent, which I'm very fond of. It has changed my laundry experience. I almost enjoy doing laundry, almost, not quite. All right, friends, that is all I've got for you today for this coffee talk, the first in months. Might even be the first one this year. I don't know, it's been a while. Thank you so much for watching. If you have recommendations for books and shows and stuff like that, Drop them down below because I'm always on the hunt for new things. Thanks again, and until next time, I will see you later. Bye.